I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 258, where I'm going to show you some awesome power of Quantrix Modeler. I want to show you how to summarize by year to date. This is in response to a comment that was given to me on episode 181 of the Quantrix Authority. And in episode 181, I go ahead and I show you how to summarize items from a two-dimensional matrix into uh, quarters and also by month by year and i have a question here by g3 cfo he wants to know how you can summarize the example that i displayed in this video um, for the year to date assuming that the current month is say july how would you do that would you use an if statement or would you just simply use a select statement well i think i would just use a very basic select statement to make this happen but first off, just a quick review of 181. That episode, I'd encourage you to go out and watch it, of course. But I have a two-dimensional set of data, and I want to summarize these by month, by year, and then by quarter, by year. So what I went ahead and did is I derived the value from uh, this date over here, and I was able to then pull in the year and the month and the quarter. And then basically I created these two matrices with the time dimensions as listed here, and then using a basic using as, I was able to simply sum the quantity that is listed here. And what I believe GC3FO is asking is, okay, you've created kind of this month by year matrix and this quarter by year matrix and summarize the items there, but how could you do a year to date based off of some you know month that you put in? Well, first off, I would add a new matrix and I would go ahead and I would rename this. I would call it the month month input matrix. And I'm just going to simply go in here and call this month. I'd maybe get rid of category D. And then I would go ahead and I would constrain this input. And this input is going to be constrained by month like this. And what I would then select here is I would have numbers 1 through you know 12. To be selected from uh, just as a be best practice I like to make these blue that way I knew it was an input cell or something that I need to be changing and then I would go ahead and maybe close these matrices they're not uh, pertinent to this example that I'm going to show as well as matrix 9 in the episode 181 I showed you what those matrices were but uh, then I would go out and I would say well I want 2017 2018 and 2019 I'm going to call these year in a new matrix and then the metric that I want to bring back is uh, I believe it's quantity there we go I'm going to then hit F6 hide my uh, model browser I don't need it and what I want to do now is I want to simply go out and sum the quantity where my month is less than uh, the month that is listed here less than or equal to it and then of course I want the years to correspond to the year that I'm on here so how do I do that uh, I would simply go and say quantity is equal to the sum select s and the reason why I do select s is because select s allows me to add a condition and I simply want to bring back the quantity okay that's my value range that I want to bring back the kind of my test range or my key list is going to be this month and then the condition is I want uh, that month to be less than or equal to, let me find my equal sign, equal to, I'm going to put an ampersand so I can join that uh, condition, and I want it to be less than or equal to the month that is specified here. I'm going to close that, and then I'm going to go to the next line, and I want to link year, and I do that by using items as categories, using that those items as this category. If I go ahead and I hit enter, then I can see that I actually am able to uh, have a link there if I add 2016 looks like this is maybe some older data so then I have 2015 is this indeed correct if I were to go out and filter on month here and I were filter on values 1 2 and 3 click OK and let's go ahead and filter on selection of 2016 if I were to then go out and sum my quantity 
I would see 66,997 and indeed that is the value I'm getting here. If I were to change this number, of course, to say four, again, I would expect these numbers to increase because now I'm looking for anything that is less than or equal to this month. Uh, like I didn't show you in episode, uh, May, in episode 181, I would then go out to matrix three here and I would rename this matrix uh, year to date. Summary. Excellent. And that is how you do it, of course. Maybe apply some formatting. So, Mark, uh, that's, a, that's one way to do it, of course. There are maybe a couple different ways that you could solve this problem, but uh, generally from your question, I think that answers it for you. And I really hope that uh, the rest of you will have questions about Quantrix and that you'll feel free, because it is free, to reach out to me and ask me any question in regards to Quantrix Modeler, and I'll try to feature you on the podcast I want to answer your Quantrix questions. I want to make you a Quantrix master. I hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com and ask me those questions. And again, I hope that you'll uh, join me for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.